In this video, we're going to introduce ourselves into the world of quadratic equations. A quadratic relation is a relation that has an equation in the following form. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. Whereas you can expect linear graphs to look like these ones right over here, you can expect quadratic relations to look more like a U. One other way to refer to the graph that represents a quadratic relation is a parabola. Now, depending on the exact equation, a parabola can either be pointing up or down and can be either wider or narrower. And of course, it doesn't need to necessarily have to start right at the origin. It can start at anywhere else as well. All right, first things first. Let's take a look at the standard parabola where a is equal to one and b and c are both equal to zero. What we get is y equals x squared. And the graph would look like this. Why? Well, if you plug in the numbers for x, you would get this particular graph. If you plug in 0 for x, you'd get 0 for y. If you plug in 1, you'd get 1 for y. If you plug in 2, you'd get 4 for y. Awesome! And what about this side then? Well, if you plug in negative 1 for x, since it's going to be squared, what we would get is negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 giving us 1. If you plug in negative 2, it would be negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 giving us positive 4. Notice how we plug in negative numbers and got the same value as plugging in the positive numbers. Great! Now, this point right over here is called the vertex. And like we mentioned before, it does not necessarily have to be on the origin. The vertex can be thought of as the point in the parabola where the curve changes direction. If the parabola is opening up, then the vertex will be the minimum point, or shall I say the lowest point on the graph. If the parabola is opening down, the vertex will be the maximum point, which would be the highest point on the graph. Also, notice how the parabola is symmetrical to itself when it is seen as two halves. This imaginary vertical line that divides the symmetry of this parabola is called the axis of symmetry. So one way to tell if a relation is a quadratic relation is by looking at the second differences of the y values. Let's look at y equals x squared as our simple example to explore what second differences are. So the way we find them is by first creating a chart with the x and y values of this equation. Just make sure that the x values are evenly spaced out. In this example, the x values are consecutive, so they go up by one. But if we wanted to, we could go up by twos or threes or even any number as long as they are consistent. So from here, let's add two more columns in our chart, which we will name as first difference and second difference. Now to fill the rest of the row of this first difference column, what we would do is get the second y value and then subtract it by the first y value. This gives us the difference between the two y values. As you can see, we get three. Notice how we have it positioned in between the two y values to show that we're looking at the difference between these two particular values. Do this for several pairs of y values. For example, the next one would be to get the third y value and then subtract it by the second y value we write down our first difference again. Try doing this for two more pairs of values and compute the first differences. Now that we've got our first difference values, let's do the same thing that we did on this column, only this time let's do it over here. 
This is how we would get our second differences. So again, we can just do second value minus first value. Then we would do third value minus second value, fourth value minus third value, and so on and so forth. So what we should notice for quadratic relations is that the second difference will always be constant. This applies for all quadratic relations. So if you calculated the second differences properly and all the values are not the same or constant, then the equation is definitely not a quadratic relation. Awesome. So before we end this video, I want to compare what we know about linear equations with quadratic relations. A linear equation never has an exponent of 2 in it. Take a look at some of the linear equations on the screen. Notice how we don't have an exponent of 2 anywhere here. Now, let's take a look at some of the examples of quadratic equations. For these, notice how there's an exponent of 2 on the x. This is something you can expect to see from quadratic equations. Well, that's it for this video on quadratic relations and the idea of first and second differences. Thanks for watching and we will see you in our next lesson.